Go ahead. Okay. Here we go, guys. We are block four. So we're August. I actually am now officially working on block six. So in my books, we're halfway through. So we're doing really good. Um, this month, you're doing just one block for the big one and then two smaller blocks. Am I in? Yeah, I'm in. All right. Uh, simple. Nothing's tough about this one. Again, I think your toughest part is going to be getting this squared up. And I don't think you'll have a problem doing it. Okay. Oh, perfect, John. Now I know where I am. All right. Ready for the block four changes? That's what this is. Is block four. So first we go through the changes. There was last month we talked about increasing the three and five eighths to three and three quarters, and using that to put the blocks together and it was easier. I gotta tell you guys, I had to rip mine all out. So if three and three quarters works for you instead of three and five eighths on these numbers, you do you. I found that changing the three and five eighths. Where are you I don't, I don't know. Know. Just in, when you, when you put it together in lots of times, last month it came up, one of the blocks had three and five eighths. Oh, okay. there's three and seven eighths. Yes. Oh, you're well, talking about last month. I'm talking about last month. It came up that it, w it went together better when you did three and three quarters. I tried it that way. I couldn't do it. it my block came out too big. I mean, like a quarter of an inch too big. So if, if you try it and it works better for you, just make a note in your book that anything that's three and five eighths take up to three and three quarters. I haven't done that in my book because it doesn't work for me, all right? Don't be afraid to grab scrap materials and, and try it on your own and see which way it goes for you, okay? What is the, what block is that? Um, that was for block three. This is block four, okay? So we're August. So the block four cutting changes, the turquoise is marked at three and seven eighths. You're gonna take that up to four inches. The violet is two and three eighths, and you're going to take it up to two and a half. Where's violet? Where's violet? Where's violet? Where's violet? Where's violet? Where's violet? Is it called powder? Powder. Oh, so, so say that again. Sorry, please. powder goes up to. I need a pen too. Powder goes up to two and a half. It's at two and three eighths. Two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. I got the wrong paper. You can see how good I'm doing today. All right. So the powder goes up to two and three quarters. Thank you. If it's a five-eighths, it hits three-quarters. If it's a three-eighths, it hits a half, okay? All right, and then your celery, which is that light, light green, that goes from one and seven-eighths to two inches, and that's on the little stars. And your, which green is this one? Burn. 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 That also goes up to two inches. And that's under little stars. That's, those two are under the little stars, yeah. All right. Are we good? Yeah, I don't know where it is over there. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, so for this block, the triangles, these individual triangles here are gonna square up to three and a half inches. What I did to make it go was I used my strip stick. I pressed all of my seams open and they had no problem lining up the 45 degree to square it up to three and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's already in the directions. Right. right, yep, that's in the directions. She's missed it a couple of times. 
so I try really hard to redo it every single time because I've seen I haven't seen it glancing and if I haven't seen it glancing I don't know if you're following my what I do or not um, all over that block's going to square up to the six and a half. Mm -hmm. All right. The four corner blocks that we sew every month, this is something we do every single time. Those are going to square up to three and a half. All right. Mm -hmm. When I put the entire block together here, if you come up and feel it, I pressed all of my seams open and how you'll know that you do just run your fingers across here and, and you'll see that you can feel the difference they're pressed open flat okay questions on that all right next thing is to make these blocks it's the same this part it's the same that we do every single month. So you start out with taking your square and your triangle, overlapping it, and follow the directions on how you are pressing it. Because one of them will press in one direction, the other one presses in the opposite. So you can see here, I've got one that presses to the green, the other one that presses to the white. <coughs> if when you press it like this and you turn it over and you see all that green fabric through the white, if anybody's ever taking a dressmaking course, they teach you to, what's the word of it, Ronnie? There's a word to it. You. They teach you to take your seam and what you do is you just trim this green back just a little bit so that there's only an eighth showing and then fold it back over and it will absolutely disappear. So you know how sometimes you look at your quilt and you've got a white and then a darker color underneath it and you're seeing it through the top? is all you have to do is go back through and trim that off just a little bit and then it will disappear and you won't see it especially once you quilt it because you'll have white on top of it all right but it's still pressed to the white one yep you still press it, still it to the to white the and the reason for that is is so that we get get a flat point right down here if we don't press it opposite what's going to happen is you're going to get a big bunch right here all right and I found that that was important if I didn't press it the way they said to I missed my quarter of an inch right here mm -hmm. to be able to square it up mm -hmm. all right the um point clip what's the name of that ruler? The, the wing clipper wing clipper ruler does work great for this just line up your X marks the spot type thing and trim them off. No issues with it. They square it up nice and easy. I haven't had any problem with that. Um, once you've done that, now you're going to add your big ones on. So you add one, then you add your other one, and this is what you look like. And again, use your wing clipper. And I found that what I would do is I would first lined it up here even though it was all done I would turn it over I first lined it up here just to get a bird's eye view of what it looked like to make sure that I was good through here then I'd flip it back around trim it flip it again and make sure I was good and square okay questions the orange the first first right there what are we lining up? Are we centering? You line up the base just line down up. here at the bottom. You've already okay. trimmed this. Right. So what you're going to do is take your triangle. Here's your triangle. You're going to lay it <coughs> like this. So you've taken the bottom part, your point up, 
you can see my point on this one goes a lot more than a quarter of an inch but we want it to go more than a quarter of an inch so that we've got that extra room to be able to square okay and these i leave here while you guys are here so that you can come take pictures come look at them do whatever you want to just don't take them home with you because they're my samples <laughs> okay all right on the little stars, which you guys have seen this every month, this is the one that I had a hard time following the directions on. You start with your, your little pieces, draw a line down the middle of them, lay them on your larger piece of fabric, sew a scant quarter on both sides, cut them in half. This shows the scant quarter, cut it in half, and what you end up with is two of these. I found on mine that the best way to press them, and really the only way, was to press it towards the lighter color. All right, so you're going to press it towards your little triangles. Once you've pressed it to your little triangles, you're going to take your next piece of fabric, line it up here at the bottom, so a scant quarter on both sides of the line, cut them apart, you end up with this. Use your wing clipper to square them up and then just put them together. I do it in three, in rows of three. So I'll put, here's one of my stars. I lay mine out and I do, and I lay it out just like this. So I have a solid block, my flying geese, my solid block, across and across. So I put all three of these together, mm -hmm. put them in a stack, make sure they're all pressed, then I just add these to it, and it's done. This one, you'll see when you come up and you look at it, this one, I did not press it open. If you finger through these, you've got to be able to find at least one that I did. Maybe you won't. I like it better when I press them open than when I press them to one side. No, it looks like I pressed all of them to that way. So keep experimenting and figure out which ones you like better. Okay. Questions? Jeez, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, that's it. So this is this month you've got two different colors of little stars and then one big block. I think next month we do two big blocks in one set of little stars. Okay? And then we'll be like halfway through. Okay? All right. <coughs> On to the drawing, John. Where's my Tyler? 